Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add and configure a new dashboard in the web application. Open the Dashboard Manager. The dashboards have been redesigned with GridWiz version 9. Dashboards and templates from prior GridWiz versions are still supported. In this view, you can see all dashboards from all projects that have been added to the web application. You can use the view settings to show dashboards and templates from prior GridWiz versions. These are loaded from the main project only. The graphical user interface of prior GridWiz versions is also available if you want. The dashboard that will be created in this tutorial should follow a corporate design. Here you can see how the dashboard should look like. In addition, a uniform color is to be specified for all objects. Add a new dashboard. Now you see the dashboard editor. Open the dashboard settings to configure the dashboard. Give the dashboard a name. Change the background color. Dashboards have a limit that prevents adding new objects if it overloads the dashboard. You can see the current workload in the top bar. If necessary, you can turn off the limit. However, this can have a negative impact on the performance. For a dashboard, you set two time settings that are used by the objects. For life values, you specify the interval at which the measured values are fetched and the maximum time period that is displayed. For historical values, you specify which time period is viewed. Before you fill your dashboard with objects, you should set the resolution. The dashboard editor offers preset resolutions. However, you can also set a custom resolution. The grid is used as a positioning aid in the editor and is not visible in the presentation mode. You can resize the grid to fit your needs. Object movement is restricted by grid snap, so an object can only be positioned on the grid. In the dashboard settings, you specify which colors are used by the objects. In this way, you achieve a uniform appearance that you can easily change if necessary. These specifications affect the background color of the header, the text color of the header, as well as the border color. In addition to the defined colors, the dashboard should have a logo. To be able to use your logo, you must have added it beforehand in the picture manager. Place an image object on the screen. In the image settings, select which image will be displayed in this object. Place the image object in the desired position. With these few steps, you configure your dashboard and create the basis for further editing. Thank you for your interest in this tutorial. For more information, please visit wiki.janitza.de.